Hey Sam, it's Uncle Mark, and here is my video for you where I'm going to show you how to make a real ghost detector. Okay, so this is a real one. This is uh, where we're going to see the real ghosts in the world. And so maybe before I explain how to make it, I'm going to tell you exactly what the ghosts are coming from. Okay, so. Uh, let me let me start with something here. What I want to tell you is that, uh, well, deep in space, let me see. I'm going to draw, let me see, what am I going to draw? I'm going to draw the Earth. So let's draw the Earth. Here's the Earth right over here. And little Earth, wee! And it's, it's, it's full of blue, blue water, right? And then there's, there's a little, oh, there's some, there's, there's you. Okay, so. There's, there's, there's the, uh, Quebec. So, right, let me see. So, right here, there's you, Sam. All right. Now, way off in space. Way off in space. Now, I don't mean close, but I mean really, really, really far away. Um, the stars that you see, the stars that you see are actually, um, very, very far away suns, just like our sun, but they're really, really, really far away, and so they look like little tiny dots in the sky. But actually, those are those are um, giant, giant suns. Usually, they're really big, much, much bigger than our sun. Uh, so what happens is that if they're really big, they get old after a while. Millions and millions and billions of years old and and so then what happens is that some of them, some of them, they, they blow up. They, they actually explode. Slam, right? Kablam, blam. Kaboom. Here, I'll draw a kaboom. Kaboom, right? They explode like this. They, they go pow, pow, pow. And little tiny bits of the stars, they fly off. See, see all the dots? That's all the pieces in there. They're flying away. Now, how big are these pieces? These pieces are actually really, really small. And when I mean really small, I mean they are so small, they are like ghosts. They're smaller than the atoms that make up everything. In fact, they're only bits of atoms. They're, they're tiny little things. They're ghosts of the sun. And so these, these little tiny pieces are flying through the space. They fly through space like this, right? They're moving whoosh, 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 all directions, all directions away from the explosion. And uh, these little ghosts are flying along for millions and millions of years. I mean, they, they, they're they moving so far away that that takes millions of years until finally see one of them. Here, I'll make this one, this guy, let me see, um, this one here. I'm going to say he goes wee where he actually hits oop, and passes through the earth. And I mean he passes through the earth. He's so small, this little particle, so small that most of the time the particle will pass right through the whole earth without even hitting anything. It's just too small. So what's going to happen is that you are going to create a what we call a cloud chamber. It is a ghost detector to see these little tiny things, these little tiny ghosts as they pass through your world. And whether you can see them or not depends upon if you make a, a cloud chamber that works. So what we're going to talk about is how do you build that cloud chamber? How do you build the, par the ghost detector to catch them? Now, there's different types. There's um, there's actually um, two very specific types. I'm going to talk about the ghosts. Now. So there's um, let me see. There's there's little ghosts. There's little ghosts. They look they, you know, they there's little ghosts. And then there's there's actually pretty fat ghosts. There's there's actually there's uh, they're they're much bigger. Right? These ones are much bigger. These this guy's kind of small. Now, they're so small ghosts are, are, they, they move, they move in straight lines. 
They move in straight lines because nothing can touch them. Nothing can touch them. They're just too small. So when they move along, everything just passes by them. And it's like they're not even there. They truly are like ghosts. But heavy ghosts, there's always stuff going twang and hitting on them. Poing, you know. And so when they move, they don't move in straight lines. The the big ghosts they're too big. They're big. So they hit things. They hit things. And so they move um in crazy lines. Crazy lines. Okay, so you can always tell when you're seeing a small ghost because it'll move like this, woo, like that. But a big ghost will move like this, woo, woo, wee, woo, 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 like that. So that's how you can tell the two different types of ghosts. Okay, so now that you know that and you know where they're coming from, from billions of kilometers away from from another star far far away and we need the ghost because you are actually made up of lots of little tiny ghosts all human beings are made of little tiny bits of these ghosts and so uh, that's what's kind of interesting is that you are made up of all these little bits of stars that have blown up here's how you make a detector ready we're going to go through all the parts first off you need dry ice um you need not too much of it i'm going to draw little bits of bright they're like so it's going to look like snow it's going to look like they look like little pieces of ice but the ice is actually very very cold it's very cold so you do not touch it you cannot touch dry ice okay this is very important because you can hurt yourself you can hurt yourself by touching dry ice. It's very dangerous. It, it's like you're burning, but you're burning yourself by being too cold. It's so cold. It can, it can really, really hurt you. So be careful. And your mom is going to touch it, but only using very thick gloves. So she'll know what to do and make sure that everything's safe. Now, um, you're going to have to put it in something. So you're going to need a little plastic dish. Plastic dish. Something that looks like that. Um, Tupperware or something like that. So a plastic dish. Um, now, how big is the plastic dish? Um, maybe um, about as, uh, as, as big as a laptop, I guess. Around as big as a laptop computer. All right, that's about the size we want to work with. And the dish is going to have to be deep enough so that you can lay in a layer of dry ice. Because you're going to put the dry ice in the plastic dish. So that's what you're going to do first. Okay, so let's just... Actually, here, what I'll do is I'll draw it. So here's the dish. Here's your dish. And then you're going to put in your dry ice. Let's put in the dry ice. So there's all sorts of dry ice that you put in. Little, little chunks of it and stuff, right? Little big chunks and small chunks and everything like that. And uh, then you need to put something on top. Um, you're going to have to put something on top, uh, like a... Uh, what could it be? Let's see now. Okay, so this could be like a... Uh, let me see. Like a metal pan. Uh, maybe, maybe your mom has a little thin uh, aluminum pan or something like that. Or it could be... Um, uh, a little thin strip of stone, maybe. Uh, anything, really. A tile, a piece of tile would work very well. All you need is something that will cover it over. So let's just draw that out. So that's going to be um, some something, a, a base. We're going to call this the base. So this is, this is the base. And that's just to cover over your, your cold, dry ice, but it's going to make the base very, very cold. So it can't be something that will shatter from the cold. It's got to be something that can handle the cold, but maybe a, a piece of tile or, or a uh, aluminum, aluminum sheet. Something like that. That should be fine. Now, here's the next thing you need. So, so let's put that up here. You need a uh, base. All right. The next thing you need, the next thing you need is a plastic, um, a clear plastic uh, box not box what am I trying to say here what's the word hey D what's the word for what am I trying to say a box uh, like, like uh, put stuff in it 
<laughs> Plastic. You want to put stuff in? Container. Okay, fine. That's right. I'm I'm sorry, Sam. Sometimes I'm silly and dumb, and I don't remember things. Okay, so I want a plastic, clear plastic container. A clear plastic container. Container. All right. And I am going to put inside of it, all along here, all down here, this this right here. Let me, let me draw this a different color. Clear plastic container because you want it clear so you can see into it, okay? You want to be able to see through it very well so you don't make it like where it's made out of like uh, cloudy uh, plastic. You want it very, very clear. And you're going to glue on the bottom, on the bottom, some thick felt. Thick felt. Okay? thick felt and you want to glue it good and then you're going to pour into it let me let me draw the pouring here Whoop, here's here's my bottle I'm gonna pour whoosh, some and this is something that your mom is gonna to have to get also it is alcohol but it is a special alcohol it's called isopropyl alcohol she probably has some already sometimes you use that to fix cuts and, and if you get a cut on your hand or something you can put this on your hand to kill all the, the bacteria and bad things on your hand so maybe you already have this and you want to make sure your mom gets something that is 90 percent pure isopropyl alcohol okay and what you're going to do is you're going to pour that into the felt so the felt gets all full of the the alcohol gets all soaked up now you don't want to do too much you just want to have it so that's really full of alcohol if you get a little extra that's okay because you'll just pour the rest of it onto the base and that's okay too all right so you're going to basically uh, fill up your felt all with alcohol and then you're going to put the whole thing upside down when you're ready when you're ready when you go like okay i've got it all soaked up on my felt and you want to make sure that felt is really glued on tight or else it's gonna fall off but you then go okay it's good I'm going to put it on, here we go, I'm going to put it on the base like that. So there it is, and then where's my where's my felt? My felt goes up here, here's my felt above that's filled with the alcohol. And then you are ready, you're ready. So here's what, no, let's just, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to start fresh here, just so you know. So let's just look at what, everything we got, okay? So this is not like, it's like you're doing a science experiment here, because you're scientifically trying to find the ghost. Okay, so we got our plastic base. Here's our plastic base right here. We, okay, pretty good. I've got my dry ice, chunks of dry ice, right? It's making everything super, super cold. Super, super cold. And then I've got my base. Here's my base on top. All right. All right, just hard base. And then on top of that, I have placed, covering the whole thing, is my plastic plastic container clear plastic container and inside I have the felt that's filled with alcohol now what's gonna happen why why did you do all this okay because what you're going to do is you're trying to make a cloud chamber where you're going to be able to see the ghosts so what you're gonna do is that when this is you know looking good and you got it all set up, you're going to make sure you're in a room that can be totally dark. So it's got to be a room with no windows. Okay, so you're going to close the, the, the light, you're going to turn the light off, and you're going to let, wait a while. Now you might have to wait about five minutes. Okay, you're going to wait about five minutes. And what's happening is that the alcohol is going to start turning into gas, and it's going to come down this way. As it turns into gas, it's going to come down. But what's going to happen is that all this cold air, all this cold air from the dry ice is coming up like this. And when the alcohol and the super, super cold air meet, it's going to make um, a big cloud. So you're going to see like all this wispy, wispy air. You're going to see wispy air. And this is the perfect kind of air to see ghosts inside. Okay, 
So you're going to start to see what looks like like little tiny cloud inside. Right? It's going to get very misty and cloudy. So when that happens, then you're going to make sure that you have a flashlight. You need a flashlight to see the ghost because right now you're standing in a dark room and you can't see anything. Silly person. You should have brought a flashlight. So you got to bring a flashlight and you're going to shine the flashlight through your cloud chamber. And you're going to look to see if you can find the ghosts. Okay. So if there are ghosts in the room passing through from space and now moving through the earth, you're going to see them. You're going to see the trails that the ghosts make. So you might see something that suddenly goes, Whee! Or maybe something that goes in a straight line. Or maybe something that goes in a crazy line. Remember, there's big ghosts and small ghosts. And so they're going to, what happens is that this cloud that you've made, the, the ghosts will run through it, but it's going to make, uh, they're going to hit the clouds and make the clouds kind of get all, um, disturbed and so you're going to see the the ghosts uh moving through the the cloud now remember they're very very tiny so all you're going to see is the path of their moving you're not going to see whole shapes but you're going to see uh them moving through it hopefully if they're there so you just simply uh put a flashlight to one side and then you you wait you just have to wait now it might take five minutes might take ten minutes but uh that should work and that's your ghost detector so if it, um, if you have any more questions you just ask me and uh, yeah that's all I have to tell you Merry Christmas by the way hope you're having a nice time we're in uh, we're in China in Shanghai so we're just enjoying Shanghai and, and having fun but uh, let me know and if you get video of, of the ghost please let me see the video so i can see the ghosts also i'm very excited for you okay it's uncle mark i'm going to go now bye <laughs>